I am Jeff from Cataclysm and you're watching Impact Channel. Across the board, like it was been just such a cool vibe with all the the friends on the package from all the bands, and um, it's, it's been killer, really. Like uh, beyond our expectation, it's it's been like uh, half the shows have been sold out so far, and mm -hmm. it's like really good turnouts, really high energy. Mm -hmm. I can't complain. Super, uh, I'm a I'm a happy camper. Well, it's it's been. It, it, feels like it's long ago, but it wasn't that long, it was just like, time flies, it's crazy. I mean, it was just for us, it was one of our uh, uh, like first big European tour, because we did one with Deicide a little bit before that for like the first album, Sorcery, and that that tour, the, the that tour with Hypocrisy was like the second big tour that we did in our career, and we had great memories, and we're all young and crazy, and so many so much craziness every day on that on that tour and I uh, have, have good memories of it and so has the hypocrisy guys because we're reminiscing of, of, of these times we, we did that tour and then we toured with them again in 2004 for the Serenity and Fire record and it, it was us hypocrisy and cannibal corpse and that was also a really really cool tour and um, I, I also did a lot of touring with hypocrisy as a sound engineer so I, I know the guys very well like, uh, throughout the years and this is like uh, my second family so it's, it's so cool on this tour. Oh and it's, it's so many great bands, uh, I mean I think one of the bands we toured so much with it's Cannibal Corpse, I uh, probably did like something like eight or nine tours with those guys so shared buses and they're like you know, Probably like the band we teamed the most together throughout the years, and uh, always all good friends as well, and very good vibe with those guys. <laughs> it wasn't like that. I I, I know that he, he, he for for a ride. Remember, he didn't wash his stage clothes, so he's just like hanged it, let it dry, and reuse it every day. That buddy. No, no, he just took showers. Okay. <laughs> so just an urban legend then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, worst tour partner, I, I, I don't think we had that many bad experiences. Uh, we, we had some, some rough ones. Uh, sometimes I, I feel we get more uh, problems with like new newcomers mm -hmm. that haven't been doing it for, for that long and they they come in with their head like this, trying to prove something, and they're they're creating sometimes more awkward situations or more problems for no reason. Because like every band that's been that's been around for uh, for a while, they're they're pretty much uh, they know what what the deal is. Nobody has like the big ego or anything like that. That's usually it's pretty cool. But like it, like I said, sometimes like the newcomer will come in like. Oh, so hmm. <laughs> and then they create more problems, but no, they, I, I, we've been pretty blessed to been being matched with bands that are like super cool. So most of the times, it's, it's a good, uh, it's a good vibe on the road. Okay, that's a fun, that's a good question because what I uh, what I bring, I carry most of my stuff that I carry with me. It's equipment, so I have all my guitars. My my FX, my uh, temper rack, and all these things, the cables, and then I try to fit as much as I can of socks, underwears, <laughs> like uh, clean black shirts for the stage, <laughs> jeans, and then uh, then uh, then after that, like the the, the stuff like shampoo and, and uh, soaps and stuff. But it's usually very little. I'm trying to fit it like <laughs> in my in uh, in my bag, and it's always like a a struggle because I bring all these things over here for the tour and then on the last day when I when it's time to pack it again to go back home 
it's such a hard thing. Nothing fits. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I always end up throwing stuff away because like, I can't even make it back into my, my case. But uh, it's, always a, it's always a struggle just because of the amount of equipment that I'm carrying around. So the, the other stuff is very limited. <laughs>
uh, again brings a sense of purpose into all this, like what we're doing and stuff. I learned uh, it was, I think it was Motley Crue kickstart my art or something like that. No, shout out to them. Because it's pretty easy, and my guitar teacher was like, you should, you should try and start with that, and then we'll move on to more complicated things. And uh, it's good. it was a cool song to, to learn. I was so happy because when I first did the chords and I was like, it makes sense, I can do it. I'm like, I can play. <laughs> and it gets you excited and motivated to keep going and learn some other stuff uh, after. Uh, as a fan, I saw Iron Maiden, Seven Sun Tour, uh, and the uh, opener was Guns N' Roses. And that was in 1988, and I'm old. And I saw that, and that was my birthday gift from my mom, because she knew I was such a fan. And I was 12 years old then, and my mom took me to the, the concert. And I, I had a great experience then. As a band, the first concert we did was in 1992. And we played like a, I still remember it was called the Jail House Rock Cafe in Montreal. It was a small bar, but it was maybe 100 people there. But it was our first Cataclysm show, and it went out. It went great, and from that on, that point on, we started having more and more uh, demand for for shows, for local shows and stuff. And mm -hmm. it was the start of the of the career. Uh, I mean, the first advice I would give is not to do it to try to become famous or anything like that, I would say do it because you love doing it and and just put put your heart into it. And I think, I think like, if you want to make it in this business, it, it always comes the other way around. You don't try to do it, you just do it out of passion. And then if you do something good, like the rest usually comes with it, hopefully. And if not, then you just, you're still gonna do what you love and, and, and you're, out, you're gonna have a great time doing it. So if there's not, it's, it's a win-win, I think, in the end. Uh, I don't know, I would throw, throw, probably through different kind of arts. I'm, I'm pretty good at drawing and painting and stuff like that. And I, I probably do that more um, and, and think things like that. Uh, I like, I like stuff like uh, graphic designs on the computers, things like that, like just to, it's still artistic, but it's, uh, it's in a different way, I guess. What does art mean to you? Uh, to me, it means like, it, it's, uh, it's two things. It could be like uh, an emotion that you're feeling and you want to express it through uh, different means. Uh, but it could also be like, uh, to, to, me, to me, art is making, something boring, uh, like beautiful and, and attractive to the, for different reasons and, and then you attach emotions to that. Certain pieces of art can make you angry, certain pieces of art makes you laugh, Some, sometimes they make, you, they make you feel good inside and it's, uh, to me that's what it is, it's a self-expression of, of uh, whatever you're feeling but also making things Improving things better, like around you, could be anything, painting at home, the walls, just or or uh, whatever it is, like the, 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 like your environment, like sometimes just uh, uh, arranging the, the trees in the backyard and things like that a certain way, like yes, I'm so proud of myself when I'm done, <laughs> uh, things like that, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it could be uh, it could be the soundtrack of like like uh, one of those end of days type of movie. <laughs> That's what I would imagine. <laughs> like everybody's slowly dying and it's coming. to so like the impending doom is coming, and then the music's playing. I think it would fit perfectly for for that kind of setting. It could be also like if you it would be like a an art exhibition, if, if you do like a, like a painting style, maybe 
a lot of angry, a lot of angry painters painting a bunch of dark stuff with, with the music. That could work as well. Um, after a tour, I want to spend time with my daughter and my wife because we've had a really crazy and busy year. Or the last few years have been very intense for us. And and then after this tour, I finally have two months kind of off. And uh, I also took, I'm going to take time off from the studio because I work at my own little recording studio at home. And I'm always busy between tours doing that. But this time I just want to spend time with my family. And it's, it's, it's well, uh, it's been, it's been uh, way, way overdue. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm ready for that. I'm looking forward to it. Um, for me, I think determination, um, also like standing up for yourself, I think that's very important and, and things like that. Like I want her to, uh, I want her to, to, to know really how things work so she can be smart enough to find her own way in this, in this world. And, and I think it's, uh, it's confusing to a lot of people. I see a lot of people like uh, without, uh, without any directions. They just, it seems like they're just living day to day and they're doing their things, but it's like, I think it's important to find some, some sort of balance and direction to where, where you wanna go and, and just go for it, not to be afraid or hold back because of whatever reason. I think it's important to, to push through, push forward, and that, that the, these are the things that I wanna uh, apply to, to my, my kids. one but I could probably tell you like uh, Iron Maiden seven song for me is one of my top and I think it's because of the the age I was when it came out and like everything was just so perfect and it's to this day this still remains one of my favorite albums um, I, I like uh, also uh, uh, the latest Tool album that's for me it's one of the, the great albums out there um, I loved I loved the Deftones, mm -hmm. Deftones, uh, Koi no Yokan, and, and and the one before that, uh, Diamond Eyes. These are like two uh, two great albums for me. Um, what else? Like I love Radiohead a lot. Like OK Computer would be one of those two. I listen to that one quite a lot. Probably uh, probably uh, trendy, but the uh, Carcass artwork that's a good mm -hmm. one of my all time favorite. Meaning of life, I think, is to learn, to try to strive for yourself and, and to just find some sort of uh, inner peace and, and do all that, you know. I, I think uh, I think if you, you can either choose to try to do as minimum as possible and, 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 and take the Buddhist approach and like just try to feel as less suffering as you can, but me, I prefer to go all, all the way to the other extreme and just push through, learn, live, enjoy, um, and, and try to make the best of everything without, without hurting yourself too much along the way, you know? And, and uh, to me, uh, I, think, I think the meaning of life is just to just go out there and, and, and live it, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of people seem to be afraid to, and I, I think it's something I'd like to think that we're showing, uh, like, our fans are like a, a way of life by doing what we do, and it's like, and sometimes it's it's uh, it's a really uh, it's not not as easy as people think it is, but it's just pushing through and you go for it, you just do it, you know, mm -hmm. get it done, and uh, I think I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Do you have any message to your fans? I uh, just uh, an enormous thank you uh, for the following over the years. It's incredible that uh, we've been around for so long and seems that the family is getting bigger, more solid, more stronger every year. And I, I can't believe it. Like, <laughs> at the age we have, I mean, we're still young adults, but uh, like the, 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 the time we've been in this business is just like incredible, the support we have. I, I, I say it a lot, but I think we have the best fans in the world and I'm very, uh, very thankful for it. Thank you for the interview. No, thank you.